in terms of players? Uh, Who's a, who, do, who do you idolise, you know? Um, Messi and Ronaldo. Oh, uh, yeah, that, who, that who, who, you look like a Ronaldo guy, um, I'm not going to lie. I'm all, I've always been Messi. Oh, really? Okay, good, good, good. We're going to get along. <laughs> I've always been Messi. <laughs> you look like one of those guys that's like, nah, I like Ronaldo. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to another episode of Onside with Olam. We're here with a youngster, Marcus Eunice. How are you, bro? Not bad, yourself? Yeah, not bad. So we're going to be diving into all of his career, where he's been, where he's trying to go. So make sure you stick around. Now, Marcus, how old are you? Um, 19 soon, so 18 at the moment. 19 soon, and you've already bagged the first goal yeah, first in the goal. In, in the A-League. How's that been for you? Yeah, first goal was unreal. Something yeah. I'll never forget. That feeling? Yeah. It was a decent finish as well. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I are you a bit, are you practicing them headers? Yeah, it was funny. The, the day before, um, I was in a similar situation. Yeah. And um, my positioning was wrong and I spoke to the coach about it. Mm. So I got that same that sort of chance in the yeah. game and it happened. So it was uh, good. There's little, there's little one point is now. Yeah. What people might not know, or Wanderers fans, and some of them might know, is that you're you're a proper Westie, yeah, I'm a proper born and raised. Yeah, yeah talk to us about growing up in the West. Um, I've I've always been in uh, the sort of North Parramatta area, um, five minutes from the stadium. Yeah, I've grown up there my whole life. There's a picture of you, I think, on the ground where you're like younger, right, at the at the stadium. So you've got those great memories yeah. going to see Wanderers play, playing for Wanderers as well. Now making was that was that kind of a surreal feeling, like? Yeah. Playing for the club that you grew up watching. Hundred percent, you know. Um, ever since a kid, I was used to go to the games. They were they were popping off. Um, RBB yeah, was you in know, RBB was as a unreal, kid. Unreal, yeah. I, you know, <laughs> was RBB, in there? Even before I start, when I first started training in yeah. the A League, yeah. um, I was in the RBB as well. Wow. Um, so ever since I was young, I used to love the games. Man. Yeah. When Perth Tech Stadium was yeah. was was alive and. Um, it was a bit upsetting when the, when the stadium went under renovation, mm -hmm. but Comeback Stadium is a beautiful stadium. So yeah, no, it's, a, it's a mass stadium. And since you, since making your debut, I think we spoke a little bit about it before. Like you said, you've had a couple of the fans like messaging you and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying to you? Because all over Twitter, they are raving about you. They love you. They're saying you're the, the next biggest thing. The RBB, you're, you're all in there. Yeah, yeah. Now, look, I'm blessed um, to have such good fans, you know. Um, and I think it is because I was, I was a youth player. I grew up loving the club. Mm -hmm. So I think. Yeah, there's that, that connection, connection, that close connection between me and the fans, so it's good. And what was it like um, being in the academy? Um, you know, everybody knows how hard it is for a fo footballer to make it, you know, their debut on, um, in the, any league in the world. Um, what was it like for you going through that, that academy? Oh, it, I had a lot of good moments, but I had a lot of, a lot of tough moments, you know. I went through about two years, two, two years worth of injuries. Yeah. ACL what kind, injury. Oh, AC, you had an ACL. ACL? And then I had a knee condition. And wow. I broke my collarbone. Wow. So it was, it was a this whole, is all while you're in the academy. Yeah, so through 14s and 15s. Yeah. And then I, I was 16, I slowly started to get back. And yeah. then, I was playing 18s when I was 16 and then yeah. in, in the space of one year I went yeah. from 18s all the way to my, my 80 debut. Wow. So, it went so really, that's really fast, eight, stuff that can happen in a year. It's a football work. When, when you did make your debut, like how did you how did you keep those nerves? Like what were you, were you, you know, because I'm thinking about you, an 18 year old making a debut, yeah. massive game, but down, you go on there and you, and you just you just look like you've played like this is like not even your first team performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had I had made my debut um, while a youth player against yeah. Melbourne City. Mm -hmm. um, that was a good ten minutes of just defending. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it a bit was different. Yeah. Um, so then I had a, then I had played MPL that year, mm -hmm. um, and then this was really the first year where I got my proper eighty games in. You know, and like you said, that that first goal was something special. Mm, just talk about that mental side a little bit. What was it like mentally for you? Like, how did you stay motivated and stay keep going and thinking? You know, you got your goal in your mind of what you want to do. Was it family members? Was it stuff you watched? Like, what kind of stuff was uh, it? There's a few things. Look, I've got such a hard passion for the sport. Yes. Yeah. All I've ever done and all I've ever, ever wanted to do. I had cousins and uncles that played, and mm -hmm. my dad played as well. Um, yeah. But really, the biggest thing for me was my support network. Okay, nice. Me. You know, my faith and yeah. my, my family. Yeah. I got, got a really good family. Yeah. Yeah. Really good values. So. So kept me afloat. And who did you look up to um, growing up in terms of players? Uh, Who's a, who, do, who do you idolise, you know? Um, the, Messi and Ronaldo. Oh uh, yeah, that, who, that who, who, you look like a Ronaldo guy, um, I'm not going to lie. I'm all, I've always been Messi. Oh really? Okay, good, good, good. We're going to get along. <laughs> I've always been Messi. <laughs> you look like one of those guys that's like, nah, I like Ronaldo. <laughs> but um, I loved Alexis Sanchez. Oh, Sanchez. was at Barcelona. Yeah. Was what about when you went to Arsenal? He was carrying Arsenal for yeah, a bit. Yeah, carrying Arsenal as well. Man, I love his play style. I mm. try and feed off a bit. Yeah, man. Um, so it's good, man. And you recently made your, you said you made your under-20s um, debut 
for the, the, the Oli Roos. How how was that? Yeah, so sometime last year, um, I got my first ever call up. Mm -hmm. um, we, it's a real feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surreal feeling. Always to represent your country. Um, we went to Portugal, um, played a few games against England, uh, Portugal, uh, Norway, and um, we, we did really, really well. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we drew to England. Yeah, you Actually, no, we lost. Sorry. You lost to England. Lost I was going to say, it was a last minute goal. I was like, if you got a little W to England, like, <laughs> what? I'm going to shake your hand. Well done. You know, the young, <laughs> young Ali Roos beating England. I rate it. No, it was a last minute goal, but yeah. we boys put in a top performance. Yeah. Um, and then we went to being on Norway. What are you looking forward to seeing or doing in the next couple of years? Have you got any goals or aspirations that you've written down or are you just taking every moment as it comes? I think it's important to take every moment as it comes, you know, because mm -hmm. people can change so quickly. Um, I think it's really important to go uh, through weeks rather than like this time next year I'm going to be doing that or yeah. all that, you know what I mean? Because football, football fluctuates a lot, it's mm -hmm. an emotional roller coaster, so you yeah. never know what you're in for. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's that's so true. And you're a bit of a you're a bit of a fashionista here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you do you follow uh, footballers' fits? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I knew, I knew, there's I knew. A, there's a few I love. I love. Yeah. Yeah, Manu's got some nice. Yeah, some nice clothes. yeah, yeah, man. I see him a bit. I see um the pie. Memphis yeah, pie. members the pie's got some. I yeah. like I like Jude's. Yeah, Jude's, Jude's got good. decent swag. Yeah. Really, she's got a little bit of swag. Yeah. Uh, Sancho got a little bit as well. Um, what would you, who'd you say like you'd like to dress like? Oh, I'd love to dress like all of them, but I just yeah. don't have the money. The money they got. <laughs> yeah, you like you look at the outfits, you're like, oh, these are some nice outfits, yeah, and you crazy. click on it, you're like, holy. I've been through shit. <laughs> you're like, five k, ten k, yeah, no, 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 I can't, I can't afford any of that. Who would you say has got the best dressed in the, in the team? Well, in the dressing room, it's yeah. tough because everyone's different. You know? Yeah, everyone's you got, got different style. You got the older foreigners who are, who are more into the like the luxury and the, the real the real nice clothes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. You got uh, players like Lockie Brook and, and Brendan who. Like, I, I like the clothes. Yeah, I like, like the, the way they style so it. I'm, I'm more attracted to oh, what they wear. Where so. they style it, yeah. So I'd probably say Lockie Brook or Brendan or even Pentas Oculus has got some math. Nice yeah, mad, mad. Much out for that one, Brandon. Um, and who. Of the obviously a young player coming in, um, what what was it like coming into that group? Because you're a young boy coming in, right? And there's obviously these older boys around. Like, did you were, were they sheltered you? Did they bring you in under the wing? Everyone had little chats with you, yeah. so you felt like you were amongst the group. What was yeah. what was that like? Of course, like, for me, um, the biggest thing in yeah. football and in a team is the people you have. Yeah. And really, the the, the squad we have, there's yeah. not one person I can say that. You know, I don't get along with yeah, you. Know, from, from the oldest player to the youngest, yeah. everyone's helping each other, everyone's talking, especially the experienced boys. We do one on one sessions, we, yeah, we, we talk a yeah, lot. You know? Like, it's really, really important because it, it helps them as well. Mm -hmm. Now, we know I, I used to be a footballer, you know, back in the day before the knee injury and all that, you know, that malarkey. But um, I know we get a lot of free time right, on our hands. So, what, who is Marcus away from football? You know, um, what, 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 do, what do you do? Look, as a kid, I've always, you know, I went through a lot of phases yeah. where I draw a lot and then I'd, yeah. I'd play piano a lot. So oh, really? You play yeah, piano so a lot? I play, I play piano. Oh, man. Um, you got the just, keys. Just rec recreational. Oh, um, nice. Piano, so, yeah, I play that a bit. Um, I want to learn guitar soon, so I've got a guitar. Yeah, um, man. Um, I draw a lot. I'm a drawer. What, what kind of stuff do you draw? Um, I do hyperrealism. What's, what's that? So, really realistic photos. Really? Yeah, yeah. Have you always been blessed with art yeah, or did yeah. you work it's it? Because really, like you can just see it and draw it. Really, really weird. You know, not, no one in my family draws. No, no one in my extended family draws. Or that is Not very sick. artistic. Yeah. Um, so, something I've just always had as a kid, you know, something that just comes really natural. That is crazy. Yeah. Maybe we'll get you like yeah. draw, score, drawing off the sketches for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Right? Yeah, you yeah. never know, that might, be a, that might be a separate thing. So, you do the art and then what else? Uh, yeah, like I said, I play piano. piano? Um, you game a bit or not? Not much yeah, of a gamer? I, play, I was a heavy, heavy FIFA player. Really? Heavy FIFA yeah, player. Yeah, same. What do you reckon of it now, though? I've, to I've toned down a bit on yeah, the time, you yeah. know? It's not good for my mental. <laughs> yeah. My mental will same. be. <laughs> same, exactly the same, bro. No, like, I quite, like, I think as a footballer, yeah. You get more angry playing. Oh, 100%. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you see, you like, you see certain scenarios yeah. and you're just like that wouldn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that, that's probably why. And then we get we're getting that competitive mode. Well, like, nah. yeah, it's tough because I play because uh, foot champs is on the oh, weekend and yeah. I've got my games playing. Yeah, so I, I can't you, play you, champs before my games because it gets too angry. You can't even do the foot champs <laughs> and then go angry into the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Before we head off, I want to get your thoughts on the, the MPL. How important was the MPL for your development? How much did you enjoy it? How much like your, your just your complete process on, on your experience of playing in it. You're still playing it now yeah, a little I'm bit. still playing it, yeah. Um, MPO for me was the thing that got me into professional football yeah. in terms of getting me ready. Yeah. Um, because you're playing against men who you know, like, because there's no VAR, they, yeah, they yeah, give you yeah, a few yeah. elbows, yeah. hard tackles, yeah. 
you know, they pull your shirt. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, they, these are the things that build character, you know, and, and it's an opportunity for you to get game time in mm -hmm. while, you know, getting a lot with really. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's an opportunity to express yourself. Yeah. There's really good media coverage. Mm -hmm. There's a whole range of things that you can get from MPL. Yeah. And, and there's there's players now who have played in MPL mm -hmm. who are on, on A League contracts now from playing well at MPL clubs. Yeah, so you, you know, know what I mean? The pathway is yeah. there and, pathway and I feel like there. especially playing at an academy as someone that played MPL. We always get up for those games where we're yeah, playing against oh, Wanderers, oh. Central Coast. You know, we're like, all right, well, well these boys, we're gonna give them a tough yeah, time. Do you know right, what I mean? Because right, they're, they're young boys. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. We so, play good football. Yeah, so yeah. Like good. at full time, they're gonna give yeah, it to yeah. us. So now, what can we look forward to, to seeing in, in the future from you, man? Apart from scoring headers and stuff like that. <laughs> um, you know, I think the, the way the way I play, like I love to bring joy to the game. Yeah. And Play with a smile think, on your face. Play with a smile on your face. I think Freedom. That's, that's super important. Mm -hmm. You know, I think um, something that that really, really need something mm -hmm. that modern football really needs. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think that's super important. But like I said, I'm just going to take it each week by week. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't have a lot of long-term goals. Yeah, you just, sense, just, but, just, um, just got to keep my head down. Got to stay humble. Feet grounded and just got to keep trying. Yeah, I love that. Appreciate you. Thank you for joining me, man. No worries, man. Appreciate Thanks you. See you out there. Appreciate it.